right? We got one, we have two more tulips that are super in focus. So this tulip right is right next to this one. And we're gonna start with the, the base is covered by a leaf, but we're gonna pretend it's right here. And we're just gonna have a petal come up. It doesn't come up all the way to the top of this one. It comes up to about here. And then this petal is gonna come down. And you don't have to be using blue here. I just was because that's usually my go-to um, color to sketch out my scene. All right, next we've got a tulip petal about here. And that one comes back in right there. They all have this nice U shape at the bottom. So take a look at your tulips and make sure it has that nice U shape for the base of it. Got another one right here. Little petal there. And a little petal there. All right. Now I just I added a little bit of green here just to my um, wet, wet down paint just so I can know that what, what I'm painting now are stems. So now we're just going to do a stem real quick. So this stem goes in front of that flower and covers up this stem here. Well, I guess I was saying stem when I meant leaf. <laughs> there we go. And it just comes down like that. And if you made your leaf a little bit wider or a little skinnier, that's okay because they're all going to look a little bit different in nature anyway. All right, and then we have one in another leaf in front of this leaf that I just want to sketch out really quickly. And that one is going to come down to, so we have our center here and our right side here. It's a little closer to the right side of the bottom. And then it's going to come right at the edge of that flower. So we just want to have a nice little diagonal with a little bit of a curvature in it. And then we're going to do this. This leaf is folded. So this is the first bit of the leaf that you see here. And then the second bit of the leaf we're going to see like this. And it kind of meets back up. There you go. And we'll fill in some color and shadows to separate those two lines later so that it really looks like a folded leaf. But for now, we'll leave that as is. All right, and now that we've got those leaves sketched out, let's do one more leaf that's in focus right here. It comes behind this petal and just kind of goes off the canvas there. So it's basically all of that is going to be a leaf, but you don't have to color that in just yet. All right, next let's sketch out our last tulip that's somewhat in focus. And that one's just going to start about right here's the bottom. It's going to come up, got that U shape for the base. And then we've got a little tulip petal here. Kind of comes like this. And then a main tulip petal just like this. We've got one here and there. And then finally, we have our little stem that just kind of comes at an angle down there. All right. So, those, let me do a, let me add this leaf. There's a leaf right here, too. <laughs> it's kind of just right behind that stem there. All right, so that's that's what we have in focus. Now that we have that part sketched out, we're going to start with just filling in the rest of the nice, pretty, blurry colors that are around this main concept of the painting. All right, so I'm that, just putting. Oh yes, this is where I am. Nice. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Let me. Uh, I'll give you a little bit to catch up. No, I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm where I need to be right okay, now. I'm just. I'm just like checking in. It's a mirror image now that I'm looking at it. It's okay. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Very nice. How's everybody else doing? 
Pretty good. Okay. okay. So we'll start with the so filling in some background color then. We're just going to take some white and just a tiny bit of yellow. You want it to be mostly white. Just going to be like a nice faded yellow. So that's the color I got. And you're just going to start filling that in all across the top. You want to cover up that. If you did sketch out this uh, little grid there, you can cover that up. Basically just cover the whole top with the brush. And you're going to start to pull that color down just a little bit. It's going to come down the most over here. So it's, uh, yeah, it comes down to just past halfway in your left top side. And you're just going to fill that color in and then let it go up at a diagonal. There we go. Alrighty. And then we're going to take a little bit of our flesh tint color. It's just like a light pink. If you have white and pink and you mix those two together, that'll give you that color. And let's, let's take like a tiny, tiny bit of our blue too. And if you mix a little bit of yellow in there too, it makes it more neutral looking. Okay, then we're just going to take that and we're going to put it right under that light yellow color that we just added. And I'm holding the brush uh, kind of firmly on the canvas to get that paint on there initially. And then once I paint that line on there, I'm going to take the excess paint off of my brush. And now I'm going to very lightly hold the brush and just keep making brush strokes from left to right and then picking it up just to let it very gently blend that blue up into the yellow. Very, very subtle blend here. You don't want to have too strong of a blend unless that's what you're going for. <laughs> And then on top of that, I'm just going to take some white and I'm just going to make it even brighter right in this corner. Just put that white paint right on top of the yellow. Taking the excess paint off my brush and then I just let it blend in with the yellow. All right, looking good. Okay, so now that we've got that background color filled in there, the next step is just to start adding some blurry bits of plant. So we're just gonna blend some color. So I'm gonna mix my light green, which is that's my yellow green color with my phthalo green. And that's gonna give me just like a medium, really saturated spring green. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna start right above the third tulip from the right and just draw that right up over the paint that's still wet there. It'll start to blend a little bit. That's fine. It's just going to lighten it up a little. I'm just going to add that right there. And then to blur the edges a little more, you just want to take the extra paint off your brush and very lightly touch your brush to the canvas and let it blur and blend that color in with the background a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little light green and I'll mix it with that yellow color a little bit, brighten it up some. And we'll add that right here on the left side of that flower stem. Go back to our cool green, add a little blue, Let's add a little blue and some white. Let's cool it down some more. And then we'll add that color right here. So right now I'm basically just making myself a background that's blurry and filling in all the white space so that we uh, are just kind of giving an idea of where things are without it being the focus. Then we're going to have a little more green 
over here, let's start right in between. So the little crevice in between these two tulips. Just fill that up right there. And just soften up the edges some. Take a little more blue and yellow. We'll just dull that down a little bit. All right, we'll take some more green, throw another one up here, a little more phthalo green, and you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing here for your background. Basically what I'm doing is just filling in this space with these shapes that are softening out to look blurry. And that's making it look like we have more leaves and stems and flowers in the background. Let's fill one right there. And the, the main thing is just to cover up all that white space. And use different shades of green so it doesn't all look the same. All right, now we can start to add some pinks in the background too. So I'm gonna put that brush in the cup of water and I'm gonna grab a round tipped brush. How are you guys doing? Yay, oh, very nice. Oh, very, very good. Good colors, nice. Okay, now we're gonna take some pink. So this is my magenta. We'll take some white. Blend those two together. I'll add a little bit of my crimson red too. And I'll just start to add that color in the background here. And take the extra paint off your brush if you want to soften that up and let it blend into the background. All right. You can even add a little bit of blue with crimson mixed together. It gives us a purple shadowy color. And I'll just add a little bit of that right at the edge here, just so that'll separate these two flowers whenever we start to add some detail in that flower in the foreground. Let's cool that one down some. There we go. Very nice. Okay, I'll take some more magenta. And I'll add a flower up here. Or if you mix that warm pink with your magenta, gives you a really nice tool of color. And just basically just do that U shape and then we'll blur out the edges so that it looks out of focus. Can add some more magenta on top of that. Right there. All right, then we'll take some more of our yellow green, add that down here. And then some blue neutral color for right here. And then we're gonna need a stem for that one. So we'll just add that yellow green right there. And build up our shadows a little more by making the purple color again. Just adding that right here, but then fuzzing it out. Don't want it to be too in focus. All right, good. We've got a little bit more pink tulip over here. And 
just take a little more of my magenta, add that towards the base. A little on that side too. I'll just fuzz up the edges again. Then I'm going to go back to my green. So I'm going to take some of my sap green and my uh, yellow green. I'm going to add a leaf right here. I'm going to take some blue, add that right here. Blue mixed with white. Let's add a little highlight to that green right here. We'll go right over that border a few times to soften that up. I'm gonna blend this here. Okay. Good. With pink and magenta blue, I'm gonna just cool this side down a little more on that tulip. All right, that's good. And then we can add a little bit more of our light green here. Get that fuzz out. So we're starting to get the nice spring uh, color palette in on the canvas here and we're starting to really fill in that background. And it's starting to come together. Let's take a little more yellow. Build up this little stem a little more. Okay. What else do we got? We got to fill in this spot here. So we'll do a little bit of blue and our green. Right there. Just get the extra paint off your brush. Wipe that down. Mix a little bit of a brighter green in there. Just filling in all that space. There we got more phthalo green. It sticks a little bit of brown with phthalo green. Add that here. We'll take some of our lighter green and a little bit of phthalo green mix in with that. And let's do a stem that cuts in front of that flower. So I just started at the top there and pulled down the sides and then I filled in the center of that leaf there. I'm just adding more phthalo green and blue and some brown and that's going to give me a good shadow color. It's like a really dark shadow right here for some reason. And dark shadow here too. I'll fill in that space between there. This one's like folded over. Take some more of our light green and our yellow green color. And if you, if you end up going a little bit over your sketch, that's okay. We, we'll, this is going to dry by the time we add our pink to the tulip. So uh, we can always fix it. We can always just paint over it to fix it. That's the great thing about acrylic paint. It's very forgiving. <laughs> okay, then we take our 
white with our green and we're just going to do a little highlight on this edge of that leaf there and that's going to get lighter and lighter as it comes down just comes all the way down to the base and makes a very slight curve and we've got like a cooler cooler color over here Or green some more. Okay, let's get some blue and brown. I'm filling up this space. And then a little bit more blue and brown for underneath this last flower. It's really dark and in shadow down here. Just, we've got a tulip hiding right here too. So basically from here over, I'm gonna make that little edge for the tulip and then the rest of this is really dark. All right. It's gonna to find that edge a little bit more. Okay, we've got more green, yellow. Let's add a little white to that too. Nice and bright over here. The bottom. Stem there, let's take some phthalo green, some white, and we'll add just a bit of a leaf here. Let's cover that all up. Just blend it in. Then we'll take some more white with the light blue. With the white with blue to make that light blue neutral color. Just fill that in in between these two. What else do we got here? We've got a few more petals I want to paint in. So I'm just going to clean the green off of my paintbrush. You know, check to make sure you guys are still with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, you're fast. Nice. You're cat. You're just right tugging, chugging right along with me. That's great. All right, and then let's go to, let's do this one here. So there's a little tool up here and we'll add just some shape for a tulip. Just cover up that white space. Go right up against that green. Take some straight magenta, without any blending. Just fill that in. This is a really nice spring palette. Really like that pink with that yellow. <laughs> then we'll mix a little bit of red in with our magenta, and a little bit of Prussian blue. Yes. Just some more Prussian blue, <laughs> just to cool that purple down some. And we'll put a dark shadow at the base of that tulip. I'm just going to take some red and put that right there. I'm going to blend that in. Blend in that shadow, blend in that red. And then we can add a highlight right here on the top. Looking good. Okay, then we've got some dark green here. So I'm gonna take my phthalo green mixed with brown and we'll just put that at the base there. 
Turn this come right up. Let's fix that shape a little bit. There you go. <laughs> it was starting to look more like a V than a U. Another little one here. Let's blur this one just a bit there. Switch to this brush. And let's come back to this spot here. So we have more pink down here. It's going to take magenta, a little bit of white mixed in. That's, that one is basically behind this leaf. It's taking up a lot of space here. So we've got the shape in first. It kind of has the top like this. Gonna take some red. I'll throw that right here. This part's pretty, pretty much in shadow. A lot of this tool up here is pretty dark. Just take some pure magenta. I'll add that right here. Just kind of softly blending those together. All right, and then we're just gonna fill in this green here. So let's take a little bit of our uh, yellow green mixed with our phthalo green. I'm just gonna fill in all this green space. Go behind the flower, and we'll add some white to that color to separate these two. Let's go back to our bright green. And we'll do that one right there. I'm just going to hint at a little bit of a stem here, just so this doesn't look stemless. All right, that's looking nice. I'm going to take a little bit of my phthalo green, and I'm just going to build a little bit of something on top of that shadow that we put in there, just so it's not straight dark brown blue with nothing else there all right so next let's start filling in this section here we've got a little bit of phthalo green and our yellow green and brown blue and some white so it's a little it's more on the cool side of the greens and we'll just start to add some leaves back here a big one right there just fill that in after you get the shapes. Adding more blue and brown towards the bottom. And then just blending that up. And then we're going to take some brown and blue and add one behind that in this space. Move this tool up. And continue that dark shadowy color up into the edge of the canvas there. And you can just take some more lighter color. Ooh, that was really bright. <laughs> and we'll just blend that back into the shadow. Let's add a nice leaf stem, leaf uh, border. <laughs> I start to forget how to talk as I continue painting. I focus so much on the painting that the words start to leave me, so I apologize for that one, guys. <laughs> All right, 
And this one's really green, so we'll take our yellow green and our phthalo green. Just put that right here. Just covering up all that white space. It's such a pretty green. It's really vibrant. And if you guys are getting stuck or I'm moving too fast, then uh, I believe this will be available to watch again later if you want to uh, touch up something or catch up on a step. So I'm going to take some yellow, green. And now we're just going to fill in this stem here. So for the stem, I'm just taking my flat tip brush. It's loaded up with paint and I'm just going right down to the base and just going over any little spots that I missed there. I'm also going to build up the shadow on the leaf that's behind the stem just to make the stem stand out some more. There we go. And then the stem does get a little bit darker too. I'm just going to add a little bit of dark color base of the stem. All right. A little bit at the top too. It gets a little bit darker at the top. Okay, cool. That's looking good. Let me fill in this spot with a little bit of white and blue. Kind of blend that in. Looking good. Take some white and our yellow, green, blue, green, a little bit more white. I'll fill in this space here. Then we'll take some yellow, green, add that there. Just put a little border in between the two. And we'll take a little more of my light white color here and just brighten that one leaf up on both sides and then take a little yellow green and brighten this leaf up just a little bit here there we go okay and now let's start with this one it's gonna have Phthalo blue and our yellow blue and some other blue, the Prussian blue. <laughs> and we'll just start with filling that space in. Right up to the edge of that leaf that's in front of it. Then we'll take some phthalo green, mix with white, and we'll add that on this side to the top there. And let's add even more white and some of our light green, and that's going to go right on the edge. Just really brighten up that leaf there. And then just blend that color into your other colors. We have a little bit of a highlight on this side too. Just add that right there. All right, and then let's do this bit in here is really dark. So I'll take some brown, blue, black, or brown, blue, green. And just fill in the spaces right in between the flowers and behind these other leaves. That's where this leaf starts to take some shape. Just mix some yellow green there. And that's going to have a really nice bright border too. 
the edge of the leaf. Okay, then we've got some more dark color. I'm going to add some more brown so it stands out because it looks different from that leaf that I just painted. Put that right there. Let that color kind of carry to the other side of the stem. And then we'll fill in these stems with our yellow green. Just whoop, right down to the bottom. Another one right there. And then we'll, we'll let that dry for a bit and we'll come back and add highlights later if we have time. Let's get this section here. So this is dark down here. So we'll add some blue, yellow, green, and brown. And it really just covers up this whole spot with that base color. You can add a little black too if you want to make it even stand out more. And then just take some of your, um, let's take some of our phthalo green with a little white mixed in and just start to add like a couple little lines to make it seem like something's there, but without going into too much detail, you can even add like a little bit more like here, there. Okay. Looks good. One more leaf and then we'll fill in these tulip petals. So let's take some phthalo green with our yellow green, and even more yellow green, and let's take some yellow too. And we'll just start by just covering that whole leaf with that base color. And then remember that spot we did before where we had that? <laughs> Let's go back to that. So I'm going to take some shadow color now. So I'm mixing the blue, brown, and dark green on my um, cool green. I'm just going to basically draw that line and make things really dark here and make the shape um, con cave, convex, <laughs> uh, concave, I think, where it's like the opposite, like that. So it makes like a little ovally thing there. <laughs> and then we take our highlight color. So we're going to take some light yellow green and some white. And then we're just going to do a highlight right on the edge of that stem. And same thing on this side. All right, sweet. So we've got the base color in for all of these leaves. We've got some highlights in there too. I wouldn't say it's only base color. You know what, let's add a highlight at the bottom of this one too. And then just blend that one in. Um, and so now we're just gonna fill in the color for the flowers. And if we have time, we can do a little bit more detail. But I think it's looking pretty good so far, guys. All right, so for the flowers, I like this brush. So I'm just going to keep using this brush. It's a flat-tipped brush that's a little bit frayed. Okay, we're going to start with magenta mixed with our flesh tint pink color and a little bit of our crimson. And we're just going to throw that color on the first petal here. And then we're going to put that on this petal. If you, if you can fill in the entire tulip with this base color and then still know where to add highlights for each individual petal, you could do that. Um, but I'm trying to make this a little bit more straightforward here. So we got those 
two petals that are not touching each other filled in. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this tulip, but this one just has a little more magenta color in it. So we have this petal. And this petal. Same thing here, and then a little more red and a little bit more of my flush tint color. And I'm gonna do this petal. And this petal. Okay, and then this one's really light, so I'm going to take some white, some of that flesh tint color, and just add that right here. So this petal. And this petal over here too. Cool. Okay, now we can take some white, a little bit of our magenta, and start to pull some light highlights up from that petal. So if you guys watch my video, I just start at the base. I'm picking the brush up as it's coming up the petal giving us those nice little petal marks on the tulip. And then same thing for this one. Um, the one on the one on the left side has like a little bit of a shadow, so I'm just mixing a little bit of blue in there with the white. And that's giving me a shadow color. right up from the base. I'm going to put a little more shadow color. I'm mixing my blue and brown. I'm just going to put a little bit of that. Let's add some black too. Just like a little bit of that at the bottom so it makes it look a little more realistic. Okay, and with a little bit of blue, brown, just to fill in the spot right there. And then we're just going to take some of our straight red out of there right here, which just kind of comes right up into this side of the tulip. All right, now we can fill in this color too. So that's more of our magenta and white. And just fill that in right here. Now we can kind of have it, now it's a little bit separated from the um, other petals since we added those spots, those streaks of white. Okay, I'm just gonna take some pure magenta. I'm gonna use that right at the top, pull that down a little. Again, use that magenta to separate the two run over that red with my magenta, add a little bit on top there. I'll take a little bit of white mixed with my magenta. And then now we've got most of these petals all in there. So it's looking nice. Take some magenta. On this side too and just draw that down from the top. There we go. All right, looking good. Nice. All right. Is this still in focus? Yeah, we're good. Oh, I was looking at yours. I thought I was looking at mine. You're faster than me. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right, now let's go here. 
We'll add our center one on center petal on this flower. One right there. All right, we'll take some of our white, mix with our magenta, and we'll pull the color up from the bottom again on both of those petals. Right there too. Nice, okay, got an art tool down. Let's work on this one now. Let's take some of our white with our magenta. <clears throat> and we will do the same thing we did with the other one. Start with that light color at the base and pull that up. And this side's nice and bright. We'll take some magenta, some of our flesh tint pink, some more white, and I'll fill this one in with that color. Oh, we've got five more minutes, guys. I think we can do it. Take a little bit more here. And I'll do a little bit more right there, too. Then let's take some white, really brighten this one up. This one kind of goes over just a tad there. Take some more red to fill in that space right there, a little shadow. Definitely got a little shadow here too, and under here. And we got one over here too. All right, now let's work on this one. This one's got lots of white. So I'm just gonna take some white, add that there. We'll start at the base like we did for the other ones. Pull that up. And then the same thing here. This is a little more in shadow. So I'm gonna take my shadow colors, which just has a little bit of blue mixed in. Some magenta. Blend that down. Let's take some more red. Right there. Right there too. Put one there. Let's add a little more magenta. And we can add some of our shadows again, some of that purple color at the bottom. Just let that carry up. And if you guys ever watch my YouTube videos, I always uh, underestimate how long I think a painting is going to take. <laughs> and I did it again. All right, so we've got our flowers basically done. I'm just adding some highlights for the stems again. Just bringing everything to life. Just add a little bit of your light green at the base of your tulips. And on your stems. Makes them look really nice. And just touch up your leaves a little bit. And the more you add highlights like this, the more it just really draws you in. So you can add more highlights to your leaves. Right 
right there. Cover the little green one right there. That's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Do you want to like, stop it? Stephanie, this yeah. is so much fun. I just like, Yay. I was like, <laughs> she's moving at a pace and I want to be with you the whole time. So yeah. I think I was just kind of like, okay, we're just going to get the base down. And then as soon as I started like putting the highlight in, mm -hmm. you write, you it write, the light. details there. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are definitely both artists. Those, you guys kept up with me and those look really good. I Mine's like gaff tape to my tripod here, but we'll nice. See if we can. That's what I got. Beautiful. Yeah. And I'm all the colors in both ears. Thank you. I'm covered in paint on my arm, and I yeah. accidentally <laughs> ate a little bit of paint as well. Oh, no. too, so I feel like I've done my arts and crafts for today. Yes, very good. The worst <laughs> thing is when you put your water cup next to you, like your drinking water, and then you. <laughs> You know, oh my god yeah. yeah i don't know about that yeah as long as you don't do that you're good yeah yeah no paint water but oh my yeah. gosh i really i really hope that some people followed along with us and yeah. like let's post them on the facebook page yes for tag sure stephanie tag you know 25 karat uh yes. that was Absolutely. awesome thank you I, yeah i feel i feel yeah. a lot better too just like emotionally yeah. feel a little bit more grounded i feel Nice. Good. I know. I was like, that was very therapeutic. Much needed. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> I get, it gets a little bit anxious towards the end when there's like a, uh, you know, like a, a set amount of time you try to finish in. So like, you get, like the nerves yes. get a little bit towards the end. But other than that, you kind of like, you let go of everything and you just start painting and you just, you know, you get in the zone. So it's a nice way to let everything go for a little while. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Hey, People are already asking if you have a do you have any other live streams coming up? People are asking when the next one is here. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so my next live stream on my YouTube channel, I didn't plan one out yet, but if you guys follow my YouTube channel, I usually post in the community, I'll ask for requests. Uh, like if you have a specific cool. thing you want me to paint, then I will schedule a live stream painting tutorial of that thing. So. I can post that awesome. on my YouTube channel now and we can see when everybody yeah. wants to and see. And all of your websites are linked here. So um, oh, great. I Thank saw you. you can get in contact with you via nice. Instagram or your website. So yeah, nice send her over any nice. ideas. <laughs> and if anybody else recreated that painting, yeah, definitely post it on the Facebook page. Uh, if you post mm -hmm. it on your own Instagram, you can tag me and I want to see them too. So thanks for yeah. it having me and thank you guys for following awesome. along you guys both did an amazing job thank you, kept you. Up thank really you well. yeah. you're a good teacher <laughs> thank you yeah so <laughs> i'll, I'll uh, catch you guys next we'll time catch you soon thank you stephanie yep yeah, thank you bye thanks, stephanie bye. have a great night you too that was sick <laughs> and i made really my, cool. my walls match i put the lights on so that it could match the tulips too earlier <laughs> i knew this was coming all along i I'm didn't so... think about that at all I'm so happy we had Stephanie tonight. Well, um, what do we got going on next? We got uh, Erin Cosgrove coming on. She's a wonderful singer songwriter. Um, we're gonna listen to a few few songs from her. I believe we have a little music video that we were gonna show. We are, that's her newest release. So we're gonna play that at the end of her set here. But I think we're just gonna listen to a couple of her songs while she's getting set up. Um, yeah. Awesome, awesome. awesome. Uh, do we have any GoFundMe updates real quick? What do you think, Maddie? We are at 64.21 the last time I checked. Oh, yeah. awesome. Awesome. Uh, those Thank you guys, all of our donors. They do. And that'll be tonight. You know, Stephanie and Aaron are part of that GoFundMe as well. So if you were following along painting and either want to tip Stephanie via Venmo, that's linked up there or our GoFundMe is being, being split between everyone at the end. Yes. All right. Miles is going to cue some music for us, guys.
Hello, welcome back, guys. We are here with Erin Cosgrove, no. one of the singer songwriters. She's going to join us tonight, sing a few songs for us. Erin, how are you doing this evening? I'm good. We still got some light here in uh, sunny California. So <laughs> yes, yes. Tell us about uh, how you are connected to Pittsburgh. Where are your roots there? Uh, mm -hmm. I actually uh, have a lot of family from there, so a lot of cousins, a lot of first and second cousins are from the Pittsburgh and Chicago areas. So. I was like, oh, I, I know Pittsburgh. I've been there. It's a great little spot. So. I love it. I love it. Well, yeah. I, I'm so, it's so cool that we have an opportunity to have you on the stream from, from a whole nother place. So, <laughs> a whole other planet, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, how have you been holding up with everything going on? Staying at home, working on some music? Trying to, yeah. I think the live streams, streams have really been helping everybody out with kind of, you know, keeping their sanity. I know. Yeah. It's been hard to keep mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It definitely is a bummer when you have shows or gigs, you know, scheduled and then all of a sudden, you know, COVID-19, hello, nobody knew that was coming. But I was talking to a few of my friends and I was like, you know what? Art and music will always be relevant no matter what is going on. And if people can access it or not, you know, it's part of our duty as artists and human beings to keep going and keep learning and uh, expressing all that. Yeah. Time yeah. to catch up on actual socks. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to sort my socks tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, <laughs> but I'd love, to, I'd love to hear a few songs from you, Erin, and then we can come check in and talk about your, you know, your music history a little bit. I love it. Sounds yeah. great. Thank no you. Erin. on the, the guitar skills over here because that's been, I'm practicing as well. <laughs> love it. Love it. <laughs> All right. Let's put my capo on. We'll do this. Let's see that capo seven. Uh, this is the new song from uh, Noah Cyrus and Jimmy Allen. So um, this is us. I don't know if you guys have heard it before. It's a little different acoustically. So here we go. I'm 
I love the delayed clap. It's like a. <laughs> I love Noah Cyrus. She's great. She's great. so crazy too. I was looking at her Instagram the other day. I was like, oh my God, you're like a little Miley clone. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful, yeah. Erin. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yes. Can we hear, hear another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Cool. Let's see what we got in here. Some uh, some stuff. So I got my computer up here. It's hard to uh, get these dang lyrics and the chords up at the same time. Didn't exactly think this through. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is my stuff. Be careful. Her. All right, this is a from uh, Kelsey Ballerini. Homeless Summon Queen. Damn. 
So where can we find your new single? I know we're going to play the video later, but just, just ahead of time. Ahead of time, just in case. Yeah. Um, it is on Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, um, Sirius. It is on any of the major streaming platforms. You can find the music video on Vivo, on YouTube, uh, Amazon, basically, I think anywhere. If you were to just awesome. Google it, it'll come up. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So how long have you been playing for? And what, what's your usual band setup like? My usual band setup consists of about four or five of us. Mm -hmm. um, usually I have a guitarist just for like the bigger shows because I prefer just to sing. I know that sounds right. so diva-like, but uh, it's weird because I learned how to play after I learned how to sing. So for me, it was almost like this addition to my body. And yeah. the guitar is probably about the same size as I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, she's a big one. <laughs> yeah. um, so I don't normally play with that on stage. It's what I use to write with uh, for yeah. like a, a writing session or not. So I'll play a few songs with it when we're performing. I'll usually have like a lead guitarist. I'll play rhythm, uh, a drummer, and a bassist. And if we can, we'll get a uh, pedal steel in there because a lot of our songs are great with the pedal steel. And I have an yeah. excellent pedal steel player, and he just killed it. He's Ooh, so good. We love yeah, that. he's really good. <laughs> love that. We don't hear the pedal steel too much in Pittsburgh. No, you do, you don't. Not, not quite. I haven't seen it around very much. Really? We do have like, some like catered events where you know we will see that, but it's not on the daily. No, and it, it needs to come back. It's a really yeah. cool instrument. It is. It is super cool. We have one night where there's like you know thirty banjos in one room at like an old Elks Lodge. Like that. Oh, was, that's a fun night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that would be really funny. <laughs> 30, <laughs> I think about that for a second. 30 banjos. Oh, yo, yo. Um, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I hear them. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are your plans for, you know, a little bit later this year? Did you have any tours coming up or any gigs that you're thinking of potentially well, planned or? Everything is kind of on hold at the moment. Um, yeah. We had a bunch of stuff and it's, all canceled and the other you know work for the summer and gigs that we had festivals and stuff is just kind of pending they're like hold tight yeah. we'll see uh so at this point you know we're just we're doing what we can we're trying to write some stuff we're trying to just keep in touch with those contacts uh yeah. i know uh, we were supposed to have six different radio station interviews because uh, oh, the song actually dropped on march 15th like the day, right, the day right before everything just kind of hit like, the fan. Oh my, crazy, yeah. Yeah, and it's sort That's... of funny, my last single actually, something like that, very similar happened. I oh, man. It. Oh. There's something really bad happened, and then I released it like three days later because it was already scheduled, and I was like, I couldn't do anything about it. So yeah. I was like, well, this is good because we're, you know, everyone's streaming stuff, and it's right? great because we're all on social media. Um, so in that aspect, it's great for like the video and the song, but we did have a ton of different like radio interviews set up and ready to go and they're like hey we're closed <laughs> you can't come in i mean that but that's funny because like radio and broadcasting is you know falling under some essential business type of stuff so you would think that they would be able to do like a over the phone type of, over the computer type of thing yeah I, I don't think they got that far to be honest with you um mm -hmm. it is a little different out here in la everyone's kind of weirdly freaked out i don't really know why 
Yeah. Um, as long as you just kind of do what you're supposed to do. I don't understand why people are so. So is everybody <laughs> kind of staying in, everybody's kind of like staying inside They're you know, practicing social distancing or are there still people like I mean, for the around? most part, yeah. Uh, it's just like when you go to the store for your essentials, um, people are just nasty. It's really weird. Really? I don't know if it's, they're just stressed out or what the deal is. It's just, people yeah. are kind of weird out here with, with the whole thing. And I'm, I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to stay home. Um, and that's kind of where the whole radio station thing came in. Uh, right. My, my publicist was like, yeah, literally there's, there's one person in the studio and a few of them have already gone fully automated for, you know, right. definitely. so there's, there's not even a, a person at the station. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's kind of what happened to us. We, we had the intention of doing the live at 25 series right. at our venue and yeah. then like, you know, the 15th, 16th hit and we're finishing up setting up everything. And we're like, no, but you know, we're all still able to do this. We grabbed a bunch of computers and fun little lights and took it home. And yeah, you know, I mean, I've done home. a few things with like some of the online radios because they're, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they work from home most of the time anyway. So they have right. a whole studio set up and everything ready to go. So we've done a full, a few, um, so a few online streams and like Skype type stuff. Uh, but the major stations are just kind of right. They're like, we least out here. Yeah. Dang. Hopefully May comes around and be like, Hey, remember that thing? Like six weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm ready. I'll I'm see here, you I'm soon. <laughs> well, I love that. That drive and you know your dedication. That's that's wonderful. I love trying. it. Trying, trying, yeah. yeah, trying to keep popping, make music for everyone, even if I can't play the guitar very well. Just gotta keep trucking. <laughs> voice. Yeah, we'll play well, a few uh, more songs. Yeah, yeah, what absolutely. Why don't you play two for us and then we'll check in? Sounds good. Cool. Thank you. All right, here's some Jason Aldean. I'm burning it down. You guys all know this one. It's a little older. You slip your fingers to the tear in my teeth, stirring up dirt back in my mind. You keep on blurring, cause you know that it's working. Stuck in my head, riding the lines.
<laughs> All right, let's do, I think I'm actually going to do uh, the perfect place to start so you guys will get a little taste of um, what that sounds like acoustically. I don't forget here, I want to get my, nope, my water's gone. <laughs> Much. Oh my goodness. How are you feeling? I'm good. Good. <laughs> good. Good. So um feel free to stick around and come come back to say thank you. We're gonna play your uh music video yes. right now. Oh, that yes. Awesome. Cool, cool. Again, That's everybody, exciting. this is Erin Cosgrove. You can find her music on Bandcamp, uh Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, all the stuff. Um Let's roll this beautiful music video, guys. You were standing there where that silly Caught in your eye Then we sat and talked for a while Then six months later We were floating down the river Drinking beer in a pink flamingo Who would have thought That we'd make it It's 
Hello, what a beautiful video. Thank you, Erin, for um, letting us uh, see that. Maddie, how are you doing? Maddie, are you with us? Maddie, you alive? I'm good. How are you? Okay. I am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can. I can. Okay. Well, um, we've had a wonderful Yeah, that was evening. beautiful. Thank you, Erin. Yeah, yeah. Erin, who did your video work for that? Um, that was actually my wedding. Um, <laughs> Oh, wow. So that was actually the reason the song was uh, written. Um, the song oh, was I'm actually written for my husband um, for the wedding day. Uh, and we got married a year ago on March 15th, uh, 2019. So I released the song and the video March 15th, 2020. Um, and I really wasn't actually planning on releasing it. It just kind of was one of those things where because I, I actually surprised everyone at the wedding with the song no one had heard it he had never heard it and then oh my gosh I played it at the wedding and he just like bawled his eyes out and was, like, like, was he just like full on water he's work. like i'm gonna bury my face in your your shoulder right now and i'm not coming up till it's over oh my <laughs> god how <laughs> precious is that so i mean after the feedback i got from everyone at the wedding i decided to go ahead and release it so the footage is from the wedding and then um one of my good friends who's a director and dp did some of the like b-roll shots of just me in the wedding dress um just to get some like you know singing to the song and whatnot wow. so. but everything wow. else is actually from the wedding <laughs> that's amazing i love that i love yeah. that well how cool um again uh aaron thank you for being with us this evening i hope you stay um safe and healthy and uh, use this time to really just grow and, and enjoy enjoy being with your husband. One and year. My new puppies. <laughs> and your new puppies. Okay. First of all, we didn't talk about this. What kind of puppies? Real quick. Um, I got it. <laughs> oh, sorry. They are German short hair pointer lab mixes. They are so flipping cute. Oh. I would go get one of them, but I can't get both of them because they'll just destroy oh, me. It'll, it'll be, it'll they're be not even. They're not even three months old and they're 22 pounds each. Oh my gosh. A little bowling ball. That's a Oh my gosh. They're going to be so freaking big. <laughs> that enormous. That's yeah. hilarious. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> Good. Please. Yeah. Um, well, congratulations. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, guys. Um, Maddie, what do we have in store tomorrow? I'm uh, kind of really geeked for what we got going on. Uh. You're lagging a little. I'm having some technical difficulties oh. since yesterday, but I hope everyone can hear me. Um, Lindsay, the Starry Messenger from Pittsburgh Circus Arts Collaborative, she's going to come on and do 
an educational performance for about a half hour. And then we have Brightside showing us some of their pre-recorded footage followed up by a Q&A. And Zach and Spencer, what is the name of their band? Uh, I think it's like a 1508. 1508 is the 1508. name of 1508. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on. Um, yeah, we're really yeah. excited for tomorrow. We're going to take a break on Sunday to get our schedule together for next week. Yeah. Um, and thank you to Straub and Quantum Spirits. Quantum Spirits just released that they're doing a contest. So if you have Quantum Spirits in your house and make a cocktail and send them a picture, <laughs> you might win something. So that's an exciting thing to do during quarantine. Um, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much, Erin. And thanks to Stephanie uh, for giving us our painting tutorial. That was so much fun. Yes, yes. Well, thank you again, everybody. Have a great evening. We will see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Goodbye. Bye. You were standing there with that silly hair. I caught your eye. Then we sat and talked for a while. Then six months later, we were floating down the river drinking beer in a pink flamingo. Who would have thought that we'd make it?